Inflation unexpectedly rose in January, as did consumer spending. Dayton 24 7 hours Alex King is live with more on how this shows the current strength of the U.S. economy despite rising prices. Alex. Yeah, you know, it's important to remember how this ha how this happened uh, to understand where and when it might get better. Uh, so the, the government was very concerned throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, which led to massive spending. And even well after COVID, the Biden administration kept on spending, even when many economists suggested it's likely to be inflationary. The Federal Reserve supported that spending through monetary policy. The Fed added five trillion dollars to their balance sheet and experts say that's what has led to this inflation. Professor of economics Jeff Heyman says the central bank has been tightening since last March. The Federal Reserve says Americans saved up about 1.7 trillion dollars because of the pandemic. As they are now in the process of tightening and reversing some of that really easy monetary policy, it's taking a while to get that under control. Uh, and, and and the real fear, here's the real fear of the Fed, and it should be the real fear of all of us. If inflationary expectations, i.e. The, the, us feeling like it's just going to keep going this way, get baked into our psychology, then every worker is going to be trying to demand higher wages. That tends to be a spiral effect. And that's what we had experienced during the 1970s. Dr. Heyman says that's why the Fed is continuing to raise interest rates. He says relief isn't on the horizon anytime soon and expects prices to stay high for the time being. Now you can find. <laughs>